Hello guys, look at this engine. This is a C15 or C15 uh, with twin turbos. So this engine is really rare here. So look at this. This guy say his truck has around two million miles already. That's incredible. He say he rebuilt the engine around one million and a half miles ago. So it's quite surprising that this kind of engine is still running. I have to give props to Caterpillar because their engines are not bad. It's just when it comes to emissions, they always have troubles here in California. But it's still so awesome to see on this engine on this age. So as you can see, there's the cat cover, right? That's so iconic from Caterpillar engines. And as you can see, all in here looks really clean, right? The signs the guy say he just rebuilt the engine 500,000 miles ago. So it's so awesome. We still have it. He used, he used original cat filters. So really nice. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Look at the ACM. How huge is it? It's really huge compared to the other ones nowadays. You can see the old pan really clean. Really nice there. You can see there is a lot of oil leak over there, but not that bad. All the way to the back there. Everything looks nice. But this part of the engine is snow what amazes me the most. Let's check it out the other side of the engine and you will see what I mean. Look at this. This is the turbos. They are huge turbos. And like I say, this design from Caterpillar, it wasn't that good because when it comes to replace these turbos, oh, it was a really pain because all, removing the turbo on the top, remove the turbo on the bottom, and if you had to replace both of them, I believe it will require a lot of money. So this is one of the reasons why many people didn't like this engine. Because when it comes to these, these two things in here, everybody say no, no way. For example, if you had to replace, you see the exhaust uh, intake gasket, the, the, sorry, the exhaust uh, manifold gasket, it will require to remove both turbos, which is crazy. So you have the alternator, which is really easy to change. Uh, I wish the newer models comes like this in the other engines. I haven't seen as a easier to replace alternator like this one. You see here is the coolant filter, uh, your air filter dryer. Um, I believe this is the oil cooler. Yeah, uh, I don't know if this one comes with EGR, but I guess it doesn't have it, or maybe it does have it, not sure, because I don't work on this engine this often. It's just amazed how Caterpillar managed to put so many things in here. Look, let me see if this thing can focus over there. Look that part over there. This is part of the cool the coolers. When, when the, you know, you know when the a turbo got the air and put pressure on it, it started getting really hot and since this one has twin turbos, it's getting even hotter. So that's the reason why Caterpillar put the, you know, the the cooler in here. But this is actually a coolant, I think a coolant base cooler. So uh, it's really, you know, painful to change it. This guy say he didn't have any problems yet with these parts, but still, it will be really, really <sighs> painful to change it. So you have your fuel filters and oil filter in there. Actually, when it comes to do service on this engine, they are not that bad. It's just, uh, if you're gonna keep this engine, you really have to put good quality filters, good engine oil because since this engine is really old, right? It will require you to do that, to keep it running smoothly. I don't know if this engine will make it up to, you know, 
two after two million miles after three million miles sorry but hopefully you will you know you have here your uh, tensioners and all so caterpillar style actually this part from here if you check it out from the uh, uh, air conditioning it reminds me a lot to uh, Cummins engine because Cummins engine the uh, 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 air conditioning belt is, is in a different play it's just by just by itself this belt is just for the air conditioning so I'm glad to see one of these nowadays I hope Caterpillar in the future comes with a new design for the diesel engines and we can see more for them and that's all I got for you guys today and I'm gonna keep you updated if I see this engine again with 3 million miles thanks and bye